What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel Lex Express checking in with some more WWE 2K22 news. So here we're going to actually analyze and enjoy 31 brand spanking new screenshots. Lex, how did you get these screenshots? Where are they from? WWE Games released the ringside report and I went ahead and took each image that they posted on screen, saved it and put it on here for your pleasure okay so we're gonna break it down here together we're gonna discuss it in the comment section and we will be talking about it tonight on stream as well so if you guys want to be a part of this awesome community check out the streams the video subscribe and in the description box we have a WWE community on discord so check out the link in the description box because you're invited to join the WWE community on there. So first things first, man, I did a whole separate video for this right here. And I'm gonna take my face off, off of the screen here so you guys could truly enjoy these screenshots. We got freaking the beast, not the beast, the almighty Bobby Lashley carrying Big E here. Look at the detail on the sweat, the texture, and the almighty one carrying Big E like it's no effort. Like it doesn't mean anything to him. But let's go back to this Kane and Ray here. Look at the turnbuckle, the rope, Cyber Sunday. This is from the 2K Showcase screen, which I absolutely love, guys. I can't get enough of these screenshots because it really takes me back to that era in wrestling where it looked exactly how it's being displayed. Love it. So the next screenshot is Bobby Lashley and The Miz right after the Big E and Bobby Lashley. All right, let's go back over here. So The Miz and Bobby Lashley are fighting ringside and Bobby Lashley just slams him through the table. You see the chaos created out here ringside with Corey Graves and Michael Cole. Now, like I mentioned in my other videos and, you know, doing the breakdowns, I've noticed that the crowd just doesn't really look too good, especially for it being, you know, one of the newer next gen releases. Um, it, it is what it is. Even if, if we're not comparing the next gen version and we're talking about the Xbox One and PS4 version, the crowd still doesn't look too good. It looks better than in the, in the past, but you know what I really appreciate that they did here was ultimately, um, you know, kind of blur them out from the from the background. If you look at the background right there, where the crowd has the LED red lights pointing at them, you see that they're clearly blurred out. You only get a real feel for the people that are in the front row. And I feel like that ultimately makes the experience while you're gaming a lot more realistic. So here we got Naomi with the glow flow. And you know what? I like this screenshot because it shows you how the game is going to look in dark sequences. The environment just, you know, it, they just did a phenomenal job with it between the shadows and the different color tones and lighting. It's just outstanding what they've done this year with the 2K22 release. And back to the showcase with Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio. I don't know what it is. It's just the color palette and, and the feel of, of the match itself that really takes you back to that era in wrestling. Even though it's widescreen and HD, it still looks like how when I watched it during that time. It's just, I don't know, it gives me the feels, if you will. So here we got the tribal chief himself. And I know I didn't really acknowledge... Uh, Ray getting ready to beat on Kane, but you already know what's popping. 2K showcase. But look at the tribal chief, man. Look at that reaction. Look at that reaction the tribal chief got with the gold glove ready to punch you in the face, man. This this is one of those screenshots that just stands out and pops at you. And I absolutely went crazy when I saw this one. Um, so I, I was like, yeah, I, I got to include it in the video for sure no doubt about it i gotta put it in the video so i'm just guys i'm just overhyped you know what i mean i'm just overhyped and excited because so far so good you know a lot of people are like oh man i don't know uh, what do you think is it gonna be good and you know your points are valid man your points are valid you have every right in the world to feel robbed and and you know lied to with 2k20 but this one right here, man, you can't deny greatness when you see it. This looks just, uh, I don't know. Every video, I try to find different ways to break it down because 
I'm just, I'm nerding out, I'm marking out, I'm going crazy with it. And I'm one of those guys that really looks at the attention to detail with, you know, uh, you know, the HDR, the high dynamic range and the 4K resolution and stuff like that. So anytime I take a closer look at these screenshots, I, I look at, I look for these details like the shadows. Look at Seamus's back. You know, look at how freaking strong and toned he is and the way the shadow bounces off of his body. Like, they've come a long way, guys. This is not just WWE itself, but gaming in general. And that's how they were able to set the tone for the arena. Look at how the lights are off, but you still see the crowd in a subtle way where it makes you feel like you're there. If you've ever been to a WWE event, that is exactly the color tone that the arena gets when the lights are off and they have like the, these bright white lights it's it's remarkable that they were able to capture the essence of being there live while while also giving us the presentation of watching it on tv here we got Shawn michaels with the bun getting well not the bun the ponytail getting choke slammed by the phenom the undertaker in a hell in the cell match with the red cage which i absolutely love I just wanted to throw that in there. And then we got freaking, well, I, I think this is the Ministry of Darkness Undertaker, right? Which I like that he does look younger. His his skin is not sagging in his cheeks like in the other game, you know? And, and you could you could tell the difference with the facial hair and all that. So I'm, I'm really digging uh, the Undertaker screenshots that they've given us so far. It's been, uh, it's been a pleasant surprise to see that they finally, finally gave us a younger looking taker that doesn't look you know washed up or anything like that so over here what you guys are looking at is a backstage screenshot and they brought this uh moment up right here to show that there is different levels to being backstage they made it bigger and 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 you know higher than it's ever been before so we're going to be able to climb on things um obviously you get to see that right here as an example and you get to uh throw your opponent over uh, to the ground so i think that is crazy it's gonna be chaotic backstage no doubt about it and i i just can't wait to see what else it has so this screenshot right here is super important we have the vitality meter special meter and finisher meter which i did cover in a whole separate video but i wanted to include it here just in case you guys missed out on it you could check it out it's on the channel but yeah we're, we got the meter back the little hud in the bottom left corner to kind of give you an idea what's going on in the match with the characters involved so here we got the phenomenal one aj styles the face that runs the place man these reactions are looking real good man the facial expressions are looking clean and then we got oscar looking like Aah! you know getting on that turnbuckle with the led panel right there looking great oscar looking awesome getting ready to win another another belt or no then we got the boss herself they're showing some love to sasha banks getting ready to you know enter the ring and then big time bex oh, 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 oh all right i'm trying to do her thing but i obviously botched it then we got bianca belair making her little uh entrance and they got booker t oh my god Booker T with the freaking Titatron fire and the real skin tone. I don't remember which WWE 2K it was, but it was a couple years ago that they just absolutely ruined Book Booker T. So I'm glad that they have given us, you know, the real Booker T. It, I don't remember how long ago it was. It was definitely a couple years ago. It wasn't 2K20 or 19, I don't think. Then we got John Cena with the with the new, uh, you know, modern day haircut. This is a SummerSlam jobber version of uh, John Cena getting whipped by Roman Reigns. I'm sorry, I just had to say it. I would say that this is probably the most uh, the most um, surprising and amazing looking screenshot that I saw. This this was one of the most impressive ones. We got Cesaro right here making his way to the ring, and just I don't know what, what really took this to the next level was on the right side of his face. If you see the light, the way it kind of shines. And you see that his face is a little oily. Like the level of detail is just out of this world, man. My goodness. I love Cesaro, man. He needs a title. And then right here, we're covering the ringside report screenshot showing the controls, which I did do that in a whole separate video. But they do have light attack, heavy attack, grapple, 
block and reversal along with dodge and climb. How about Damian Priest, man? Getting a lot of love here. Not only did they show him in the Ray versus uh, Damian Priest gameplay video, but they gave him some shine here with the uh, extra like entrance feel screenshots. I thought that was really dope of them to really showcase Damian Priest and give us different angles of, uh, of his entrance. I thought that was awesome. Then we got the reigning R superstar Edge just freaking killing it, looking amazing. And then how about how about the freaking pandemic Thunderdome Arena? Everyone kept asking, "Hey, is it if it's uh, Lex? Do you know if it's in the game? Yo, 2K, are you putting it in the game? Is it, you know?" And then they had announced that they were gonna have the LED panels, you know, with the first interview. I think it was with Vibe or Operation Sports, one or the other. Can't remember which one exactly. But they did announce that they were going to have the LED panels and they were going to, you know, have it in the game. But, you know, to this level of detail with actually having real people on it, I thought that was really cool and such a pleasant surprise to see. I didn't expect that in particular. Look at Ray running down the ramp. It just looks so freaking real. It hits different, guys. It really does hit different. And then we got freaking Grandpa HBK, man. We got Grandpa HBK with the short hair. I had to do a whole separate video for this one, too, because I was just so surprised and shocked that they actually put Shawn Michaels with short hair. Not only they did, did they put him with short hair, it's not even the real authentic hair that he has. You could tell they really, they really just chopped up the pony, the ponytail, because if, if I'm honest with you guys, he doesn't even have that much hair left to even have that type of haircut. And then Beth Phoenix looking at the camera like a freaking alien. How about Hulk Hogan, man? Hulkamania, brother. Running wild with the leg drop, man. Oh, Hulkamania, man. Can't wait to play as Hulk Hogan. So what else we got going on? That's it. That's it, guys. 31 screenshots. I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown video revealing all the snippets and moments of the freaking ringside report that I absolutely enjoyed watching. I did the full match with no face cam on the channel, and I did a little bit of commentary on it. And then I also did a reaction and thoughts video, which is up on the channel as well along with so much more content. So if you guys like WWE 2K, man, and you guys are hyped, subscribe to the channel. Don't miss out on another stream or video. I'm checking out of here, and um, I'm hyped. I'm going to keep saying it every video. I'm excited because when I was sad and I was annoyed and I was pissed off, I raged and bashed and trashed. So the fact that the game is looking this good and everything seems so promising so far, I just got to give it praise, 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 praise. I hope you guys comment because I want to go back and forth with you guys and discuss what we just witnessed. I'll see y'all real soon. Thank you for tuning in, man. You guys have been so awesome. All right. Peace.